Hello friends, it's now three days since the Indian 15 member squad for the ICC Men's T20 World Cup was announced and yesterday on the 2nd of May when the captain Rohit Sharma and chairman of selectors Ajit Agarkar addressed the media to explain the reasons for the selection of the players. We try to get some answers on the same. Captain Rohit Sharma and Chairman of Selectors Ajit Agarkar, both of whom played together in the inaugural World Cup, T20 World Cup that is, that India won under Mahendra Singh Dhoni captaincy in 2007 in South Africa. They addressed the media at the BCCI headquarters at the swanky boardroom of the BCCI headquarters on the fourth floor, which is decorated at the entrance by the arrangement of the ICC trophies and some glittering software that India won over the years. And these included the under-19 men's World Cup won by Yash Dhul and his team in 2022 in the West Indies the 1983 Prudential World Cup Trophy, the 2011 ICC Men's World Cup and the 2002 ICC Champions Trophy. These trophies at their glittering best lined up on one side as you enter the boardroom of the BCC headquarters. On the opposite side, arranged neatly are the 1985 Benson and Hedges World Championship of Cricket Trophy won by Sunil Gavaskar and his men in Australia. The Commonwealth Bank Trophy, which India won in Australia in 2007 8. The 2013 ICC Champions Trophy, all these three lined on the upper shelves, and below them were the BCCI Women's Interzonal Trophy the Border Gavaskar Trophy with the wordings, the inscriptions of these words. I quote, presented by Australia India Council for Test Match Cricket Competition between India and Australia, close quotes. And the sixth trophy in that side of the shelf is the IDFC First Bank Sponsors Trophy. India, the current holders of the Border Gavaskar Trophy, and will defend the same when they tour Australia later in the year in November. Hopefully, Rohit Sharma, by looking at these trophies and is inspired by them, will add to these silverwares with the T20 World Cup next month in the USA and the West Indies. Okay, coming to what the solutions one managed to garner from the captain and the chairman of selectors to the obvious questions as to Hardik Pandya's choice of vice captaincy, especially in the form that he has been in in this IPL, on the absence of a off spinner in the squad, the choice of four spinners, including two left arm spinners, both all rounders, Virat Kohli's strike rate in this IPL and the non-selection of Rinku Singh. When I began asking Rohit Sharma and Agarkar about the absence of off-spinner, the captain raised his hand and indicated that he was there to bowl off-spin. Rohit went on to explain the reason why there is no off-spinner in the squad. I quote, we discussed about it a lot, whether to have an off-spinner or not. Unfortunately, Washi, which is Washington Sundar, hasn't played a lot of cricket lately, hasn't been getting opportunity, and it was then between Ash, which is Ravichandra Nashwin, and Aksar Patel, the left-arm spinner. We thought it's having two left-arm spinners who are actually playing and doing well, and Ashwin hasn't played the format lately. Of course, Ashwin, Ashwin is playing for 
cross courts ashwin is playing for rajasthan royals but not for indian team after the t20 world cup in 2022 i quote again akshar patel has been in real good form since the 50 over world cup when he played that five match series against australia at home and he won close courts akshar won two man of the match awards in that series with ravi bishnoi the leg spinner who missed out on the world cup selection emerging the player of the series in that five match t20 series against australia at home last november i quote again akshar has been bowling well in the format he has done well for india we considered all of it and that left handed option if we have to send someone in the middle to do something different and of course akshar is a very experienced player and has been playing for india for a long time close quotes as he said finish speaking this agarkar said hopefully the captain can roll his arm over well akshar spoke more on having four spinners in the squad i quote i don't want to go too much into detail i definitely wanted four spinners we have played a lot of cricket there that is in the west indies we know what the conditions are like the matches start at 10 or 10:30 in the morning so there is a little bit of technical aspect involved in this close court rohit sharma did not want to reveal much about this because he said that and he was sure that a lot of the opposition captains would be listening to him so he didn't want to reveal too much now and would say more in his first press conference after landing in the USA for the world cup i go start quote again the reason for four spinners is actually this and which he said i am not going to say it in public i wanted four spinners for sure and three seamers which is jasprit bumrah arshdeep singh and mohammad siraj and hardik being the fourth one so you get the balance of seamers as well and the spinners as well obviously with two spinners being all rounders akshar and jaddu and then the two attacking spinners kuldeep and chahal it gives you a little bit of balance in your spin department as well again like i said just now based on the opposition composition we can decide what to play with there is a good chance kuldeep and chahal can play together there is a good chance both the left arm spinners that is jaddu and akshar can play together along with kuldeep or kuldeep may not play chahal may not play so all sorts of things are possible close quotes while there are only three medium pacers rohit said that hardik pandya and shivam dubey will be used as medium pacers quoting rohit again i expect them to do what they are doing in ipl unfortunately shivam hasn't bowled much but he is a seasoned cricketer who bowls a lot of overs in red ball cricket so he knows how to bowl it is just that when he plays the t20 format it is just about just about little bit of skills coming into the picture the bowlers with some kind of skill set have good chances of having success in this format so honestly we'll be expecting if we need shivam to bowl a few overs he will be bowling the same with hardik as well he has been bowling in ipl he has played all, all the games like ajit said so fitness wise there is no issue i mean all rounders they are supposed to do what they are supposed to do like bowl bat and field take some catches and then we have got two spinning all rounders as well who are quality as well we'll be looking forward to having contributions from these four guys so it's not just these four guys to be honest all of us close quotes on the on the choice of wicket keepers and leaving out kl rahul the chairman of selectors said i start quote kl is a terrific player we were looking at someone who bats in the middle at the moment he is batting at the top sanju samson we like to believe has the ability to come down the order if need be 
Rishabh Pant is batting down the order for Delhi Capitals. It's about the slots we needed. We felt these two were better and have spent more time down the order which we might be which might be needed in the World Cup. Close quotes. Well, Rohit Sharma and Ashwin Jaiswal are expected to be the regular openers in the World Cup. The skipper also kept his options open. He said, "Open quotes. All the options are open. I will go to West Indies and decide. We have never played in New York. In West Indies, we have four different ven- we have different venues. We will have to understand the pitches and consider the opposition, the combination. One thing we wanted to look at is our middle overs hitting." Our top order hitting has been all right. It has not been bad. There are options there as well. But in middle overs, we want someone who can play freely, regardless of who is bowling. And we have picked a guy in Shivam Dube based on what he has done in IPL and a few games he played before IPL as well. There is no guarantee what our playing eleven will be. We will play practice games and then decide. Close quotes. Agarkar again. He said there were no doubts on Rohit deputy, which is Hardik Pandya. Start quotes. Nothing was discussed as regards to vice captaincy. He want all guys to be in form. I think he is coming after a longish layoff. The good part that we looked at is that he has got through all the games so far for Mumbai Indians, and we have another. month and a bit before we play our first game so we know what he is doing and the hope is that he keeps building on that form as long as he stays fit we know what he brings how much balance he gives the team i don't think there is a replacement for the things that he can do as a cricketer at the moment especially when it comes to the way he bowls really gives balance he will give rohit options to play different combinations so his fitness for us is critical and so far fortunately he has gone okay in this ipl close quotes agarkar again said that missing out on rinku singh was probably the toughest choice he had to make the selection committee had to make agarkar said and i start quotes it's probably the toughest thing that we had to do we have to discuss frankly he has done nothing wrong that is rinku singh hasn't done anything wrong nor shubman gill for that matter it's again the combinations like rohit said we are not quite sure what conditions we'll get so we want to try and have enough options there are a couple of spinners that were included in the squad chahal and kuldeep to give rohit more options aksar again the bowling all rounder it's unfortunate about rinku missing i don't think it's anything to do with rinku singh it's not his fault that he has missed out it's more the 15 that we felt gives with two wicket keepers who are both terrific batters that is pant and sanju samson there is already an extra batter sitting out whoever doesn't play so we just thought to have another bowling option might give might be handy going forward in the tournament he is still one of the traveling subs that is rinku singh that's how close he was it's a bit little bit tough on him but at the end of the day we can only pick 15 close quotes there were also questions asked about virat kohli and his strike rate in this ipl which has been the talking point but like virat kohli said after the match after a recent match that he bats on muscle memory and he knows what he is doing Agarkar defended Virat Kohli. I quote, start quotes. I don't think we have been discussing it. He has been in great form. Fortunately, in the IPL, so no concerns there at all with regards to how it's going in the IPL. You are still going to World Cup. It's still international cricket. There is still that gap there. So you've got to prepare, knowing that there is that gap there. That's what experience matters. If the tournament runs out to be like how IPL is, where 220 plays 220, I think we still got enough in the team, the balance or the power. You can match that. There is no real point overthinking. You take the positives that are happening in the IPL, the form of some of the guys, 
some of the newer guys coming through those things. But at, at, at the end of the day, when you turn up for a World Cup game, the pressures are a little bit different. So that was the gist of what came out from the press conference. Some answers may be convincing, some are still searching for answers on the World Cup selection, but let's hope that this team and let us back this team to go on to win that elusive ICC trophy that has been hitting Indian cricket ever since India won the last ICC trophy in 2013 in the form of the Champions Trophy in England. Peers wishing Rohit Sharma and his team the very best for the World Cup. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe.